All right. So very good. Okay. So Cynthia, you've been uh, listening to the broadcast and and um, and and you've got you've got some of the books and everything. So I I know you've been primed on um, our pr our presentation here. So good to have you. Yes. Um, thank you. And I, that reminds me, I do have another question. What is your latest published published book? The latest, the most recent is, um, other than the Anglo-Saxon uh, dictionary, I did do the Anglo-Saxon Old English Dictionary uh, from a, 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 a source that is, you know, over 100 years old that was no longer being published. So I republished that. That's a 600-page book plus, and um, that's on uh, Lulu. But uh, you can, uh, the Cursed Word Dictionary was the last one that I, I originated. So the Cursed Word Dictionary, okay. yeah. Uh -huh. Exposing the occult nature of these, uh, the words they killed us with, you know, that we're going to talk okay. about here today. Okay, and I have two other questions, but I'll, the first one, because that may take up enough time and I'll hold off on the second one. But, um, so I need to go back to the very beginning I realized the other day I was trying to explain to someone what you believed. Well, um, you told them I don't believe anything, right? <laughs> okay, yes. Um, say, so, Lord, Yehovah, 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 Son, S-U-N, Son, S-O-N. Um, you, you mentioned activation today, one with the one. If I had to, if you were to describe all of each of those because sometimes it sounds like you're saying the s-u-n that i see up in the sky is quote god and is that true or not so i'm confused i would like a, a next book yeah of all of that right okay so so we have to talk about physical matter first before we talk about metaphor because um our, our scriptures have been so messed up, you know, it's hard for people to get the, you know, the original uh, thread of how creation came to be. But Yeshua is, but yet these things are alluded to in our scriptures and we were like the terminology, you know, he's the first made, right? We still get that out of our scriptures that he, Yeshua is the first made of all things. That means he is the first atom, A-T-O-M. And, um, and that, so Adam, A-D-A-M, which, which should be more correctly, A-D-O-M is a uh, is a type he was the first made on earth before anything else was made on earth read genesis you know go back and and so so adam is the first made on earth well yeshua is the first made in the cosmos see so so it's it's so it's teaching the way things progressed into creation is to teach us uh, you know through the patterns so and, are you uh, saying there's a difference between the first made of all things and the first made in creation? On earth, the atom was the first made on earth, but the atom is the first made in the universe and, and Yeshua therefore is the first atom. And then, uh, then when all other creation duplicates, it's a product of himself, okay? So it's in other words, like when he said, you know, you, when you didn't go to, uh, to visit the prisoner, you didn't visit me. You didn't go to uh, uh, visit the sick. You didn't visit me. And so, so the point is that he's conveying is he is all things. And, and that therefore, um, or, or as Paul said, that in him we breathe and have our being, right? Mm -hmm. The air, we're clo he's closer to us in the air that we're breathing. The air is a symbol of him though. You know, so so he is all things. Um, he's not he's not the void. He's not the darkness because there's nothing there. The void creates the darkness. So it just means it's absence of any creation. But but then he filled the void with his creation, and so that's the 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 the, the hallmark and signature of who he is. The, the 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 pictures in the stars at night in the sky, the Big Dipper, the Little Dipper, you know, and the patterns of nature. So. So he is all things, and uh, and and the, and also spirit and breath. So beyond the physical, beyond the physical, he is spirit, and he and the and the, the spirit is is uh, synonymous with the term for uh, uh, breath. 
spirit is breath and spirit is wind. And so this is um, when we go back to the original thought, then we see how they're, you know, they're all connected. Even the word wine, wine is is vein or vine, and that is vin, wind. Why? Because the wind spins and the, the vine spins, you know, and the wine will make your head spin, you know. So so the vin is the wind and the wine, and the, it's all in that. You know, the spirit is in there, the breath is in there. Um, but uh, so anyway, so... So, so we can say that you know all creation is um, you know a product of of the of the sovereign, a product of the one, and therefore, uh, then when you you talk about um, you know th we see these words S O N S U N, and um, re remember it's one word. There's only one word. There's not uh, you know in the Latin it's S V N but it's pronounced sun. The, the V is like a U and in the Latin. Uh, but but the, um, the you remember the scripture that says the earth is his footstool? Yes. Okay. So w the rest of the scriptures have been all corrupted. So if the earth is his footstool, what would be his throne? The heavens, the sky. Well, no, he's seated on something. If the earth is physical, you can put your feet on it. Where do you sit down? Where? Where does the king the... sit? Where does the king sit? On his throne. Okay. And the Pharaoh in Mazar, he said he was seated on the sun throne, that he represented the Elohim as Elohim. You see? And so so it's just that this information, this knowledge have been taken from us. The... Wait, say that again about the sun, S-U-N. S U well S U N is a corruption. Also, the correct spelling would be S O N because the circle is the symbol of the sun. In other words, when when a, 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 a family has a, a boy, they say they have a son. Well, what does that mean? It means he's a star. He's the provider of our of our lineage of our family. He's the he's going to be the, you know the the breadwinner. They're going to receive the inheritance, right? And so that so he's a sun, he's a star, and so we they've separated these things um, from us. You know this is why they tricked us with the words like that by different spelling. Nobody makes the connection. Oh, S U N S O N. It's the same word. Yeah. So, so you said you said the Earth is the footstool, and he sits on his what, and then go from there again. Right. Um, well, that um, in other words. The spirit. The, remember, we're talking about the uh, the creation. Are projections, and the projections are pictures, and the pictures are here to give us bearing, and um, and so he's not literally putting his feet on the earth, right? It's a, it's a, it's metaphorical. It's right. it's it's uh, it's helping us to get another picture that. He puts his feet on the earth, and so the earth is a footstool, and the sun is his throne. So if you were a king, if, you know, if you were the one, the sovereign who made the universe, what better throne could you ask for than to be seated on the sun, right? So that's the first three verses in our scriptures, that his breath, the breath moved upon the cosmic waters, and then the breath breathed into the, the, the gaseous orb. It doesn't say that literally, but that's what it's saying. It, it the breath moved upon the cosmic waters, and then it, it then it breathed into the star, the breath of life, and the light bulb was turned on. The sun was ignited, and there is light. Not was light, is light, because it's still active today, no different than it was when he breathed into it the first time. And so we could call the sun his house, the house of the sun. The house of the sun is up there. But down here is also the house of the sun because we're in the solar system and we're, we're, we're bathed in the light every day. And so we're in the sun in, in a certain degree, right? Uh -huh. You go outside, you feel the heat, right? Yes. Okay, we're in the sun. So we're in an outer layer of the sun, but it's nonetheless, it's, you know, it's where we can live. It's it's the region that we can we can uh, survive. So so the sun, you know, as is as is thrown is a metaphor. But yet when you read the books of Enoch, he described how he was taken up and he could see the stars. 
and that he went into the, the throne, into the center of the, the flame, the flame. He talked about the, how the flames were all around him, like clothes, you know, clothes of fire. And he, he was standing in front of the Elohim, who was, who was sitting, sitting on his throne, and, and that, the, um, that um, uh, he, his colors were like the rainbow. It, the rainbow was you know, emanating from him. Uh, in the Gospel of the Essenes, uh, it, it, uh, one of the, another revelation of John, in there he talked about how um, that the, you know, the projections coming out of the sun, uh, I, it's been so long since I've read it now, I can't hardly you know, paraphrase anything, but, but how the emerald fire, the green, came out of the sun, this emerald fire, which is you know, like the Wizard of Oz, the emerald fire, right? It was about yeah. the green. We got green money. Why is our money green when every other nation has all the other p beautiful colors? It's because the green is operating. The green is, is dominant. That's why the Indian, Indian flag in India has the green on it because it's the dominant. And then the other one is the color is the orange, you know, 33 degree represents the 33 degree. But so, so the, so, and then even Paul said that I was taken up. He said heaven because heaven is the corruption. Heaven is even the even. If you know that the H is the word the is the evening. Well, what is the even? It's the evening. Oh, so it's the sunset. You see, so they reversed the meaning of of the idea of being in the light and made it into the evening, which is going into the darkness. But Paul said that I was he was taken up to the third heaven. What? How many? How many? Uh, which is the corruption? But how many are we away from the sun? How many planet? What number are we from the sun? Uh, Mercury, Mercury, Venus, Earth. Okay, I don't know. Yeah, third, third. We're third from the sun. And so when he said I was taken up to the third heaven, well, what he means is that that's the zero point. We are third away from the sun, and they knew that back oh, then. You okay. See? And so he said, I was taking up Well, that's what that means. Or it's just like where we're in. Um, uh, um, we hear the story about Lazarus, right? And he was um, at the rich man's door and hoping that breadcrumbs will fall to him and then the dogs would lick his sores, right? And then right. finally that they all die. And then the, the wealthy man, he dies also. And then he wants to go back to the light. And then the father Abraham says to him that that you know that we can't come to you and that you can't come to us because there is a great gulf in between both of us. And what's the gulf? The gulf is that space in time, right? The gulf is a gap, and okay. that's referring reflective of the gap. So you can keep looking at you know the different things that are being projected, and um, and 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 get these pictures. But it's all been corrupted, and therefore. When I when I'm sharing, you know, what's clear to me, you know, that very often uh, people have trouble seeing it because we have to break the spell, you know, the spell of that we've been put under, which is the uh, the corruption of the Vatican and and the Babylonian system, you know. So uh, I hope did I help you on on that today. Yes, thank you. Back up if we need to. <laughs> thank you. So I guess okay. So define the creator that breathed that original to create the first atom. Right. Well, that's spirit. That's in other words, here, here's the distinction. The great father who was spirit before, before anything was made knew that he wanted to bring forth a creation. And so he, 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 he first creates the void and then he, then he brings, then he brings out his son and the son is the first made and that's the first atom obviously it's a stream of atoms flowing you know the 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 sun is a garden of atoms and so the first made is perfect why because it's made by the great father the spirit before anything else was made is the great father and so the great father then creates and he creates his son and his son is the first atom and it's also like in the septuagint it refers to it as the issa Issa means the woman, because creation is female, and um, and so he's both male and female in the in the sense uh, of creation. But he he is projected to us as the masculine, as the male. Although in the beginning it's all referred to as the virgin light, 
you know, so these are all different, you know, aspects of this. And so, so after we have the first atom, then we get the duplicate. And the duplicate is not made by the father. He lets now the first atom create the additional atoms. And so because they're not made by the father who's perfect, because only the father can make something that's perfect, and that's Yeshua, then the duplicates are made by Elohim. And this, is, this story is found in uh, rabbinical uh, tradition, but it's also the story is found in, uh, in the Nakamadi, uh, another revelation of John again, because he wrote so much and he was the best friend, the best buddy of Yeshua because he was a Levitical scribe. Well, they won't tell you that on documentaries, though, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, okay, so 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 when so the story is, and it, it was clearly stated in you know uh, how how the uh, how the creation occurred in this revelation by John in the Nal Kamadi. I don't remember the name of it off the top of my head. Uh, I've read it several times over. You know the whole book over 40, 40, 50, 45 years now. Um, but, um, but so, so because Elohim is a creation, is a created entity, um, we could, we could now be, I'm envisioning the earth when I'm using that term for this uh, discussion. So the earth is Elohim and Adam is in Elohim, right? The sun is Elohim because, because it has to do with in enlightened creation, the right term would be Zul, Zul love Haim. The love is there. You can hear the love. Zul love Haim. Haim is plural for the many. Zu means voluminous. You go to the zoo, you see everything. The zu with the cross in front of it, the T, silent T in front of the Z, the power, lightning stroke, all there about the create the power of creation. The zu, you see everything. And so the Elohim then, um, it says in this uh, tradition that it wanted to it it. it that Elohim looked into the waters and saw what looked like a reflection of itself. It thought that the reflection, now, when we think of the waters, we think of like looking down, but it's really reflective of the cosmic, the Gaelic sea, the cosmic sea, the ocean above, that when you look up, you see the stars, their reflections. We're told that we're supposed to be like a star. So the star is a primordial symbol about who we are, where we are, why we are, and what we want to be within this cosmos. And so the Elohim is going to create because it's doing its job. That's what the atoms were made to do was to duplicate and bring forth creation, physical matter. Started with the sound wave. And then all of a sudden the, 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 the primordial components begin to come together in this great mystery. And, um, and so when Elohim made the image that it's on the cosmic water, it put it it it, uh, it and the the real story is that the magma is flowing into the water, and then Elohim it takes the 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 cooled magma out of the water, puts it on the ground, and then then the body lies there for three days and three nights, an important symbol, uh, because it didn't have the power to breathe breath into this life form. And so, so Elohim makes the physical form of the first atom on earth, first made on earth, when, before anything else is made on earth. And then, then in the mystery, the great father comes down after three days and three nights and breathes into the nostrils, the gnosis, and the enlightenment of that moment of that he become that the first made man on earth a Sean didn't want to insult him um, the first made um, has the breath of life breathed into him through the no nostrils which is synonymous with the term gnosis meaning knowledge and 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 the story goes that that the the, the reason the breath was breathed into the nostrils is because the father didn't want to take credit or would, what would come out of our mouth, and so as, and also that the 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 not not nasal passages go right to the blood brain barrier, and therefore it's symbolic again of breathing in the gnosis, the knowledge of of who we are, where we are, why we are, at least the ability to receive that knowledge when it's being presented to us by our off by our uh, our parentage, you know, and so 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 the thing was that Elohim could not breathe with the breath of life 
Only Yeshua could do that in the great mystery. You see, so there's like two creations. There's the lower creation, there's the higher creation. It's always about the duality, the up and up and the down, the in and the out, the, the, bl the black and the white, you know, the left and the right. And so there's the lower and there's the above. They got everybody looking for Eden down here. It's not, it's up above, it's the sun. It's, they corrupted the word atom into Eden. And that's how they trick us so that we can't, they knew back then they were looking at the atom. The atom, the symbol, the the mic, the macrocosm, the 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 giant, which was a symbol of the microcosm, the smallest that you cannot see with your own eyes. The atom, there, one is a reflection of the other. The great representing what really is great, because there's nothing greater than an atom, the first made, because it's doing the work of everything else. Can you see that? Yes. Wow. Did you awesome. ever hear this before? <laughs> you know, I <laughs> never was able to get it out quite as well, I think, as I did it right now. It's it's really challenging to you know to bring it forward, you know. That was awesome. Doesn't... I have to go back and re-listen to it a few times. So that was great. Thank you. You can so see much. it though, right? You can see it now, right? Yeah. Yeah. Because we're talking about pictures in relationship, you know. And uh so Yeshua, the first made atom is Elohim. But the earth is Elohim. See, this is why they had to take, remove the word Elohim, right? From our scriptures, from our shultres. And they give us the word God, right? Well, there's a letter D right there. A D is a sunset. So you got, you got two symbols. You got the G, which is a symbol of the sun. And you got the D, which is a symbol of, of darkness and death and doom. And that's the name of the guy that, that made all things? No. That's the Pope. And backwards is dog. And the dogs are the priesthood that was bidding to abbreviate our words and destroy our tradition so we'll never find our way back home. Right. Ah, mm. uh, wow. Okay. Where do we go from here, huh? <laughs> <laughs> well, I had a question and it popped out of my head. Yeah. I um, want to thank you though, you know, because you you've been studying a long time. You've you've been very dedicated and and this is what I've been waiting for somebody to be able to ask me the right questions so I can put this stuff on the table because it's, it, you know, it's, 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 com you know, you compel me by, you know, by ha putting me on the spot and I have to answer it, you know, because I. So let me ask you another question. question. Um, okay. So twice in my life, I've had what I've called a visitation and one was last week. And it's actually something that physically happens at my home that there's no explanation for. Um, and the other, like I said, the other was just the other day. And, um, and I'm, so what, what is, I, I think, okay, it's Yahashua, which is what I call Yeshua, or it's, um, or an angel. This is going back to what I believed before I met you, right? Mm -hmm. um, that has come and done something physically that I'm able to see. So, what would you say that is? Because I have no explanation for it. What uh, What is the the vision that you had? I'm sorry, I, I missed that. So, so something. So, <laughs> this sounds crazy, but a shelf broke in my house. And then I left to go over on a short trip. And when I came back, the shelf was repaired. And no one has the key to my house. Mm -hmm. So what would do that? Well, I can only say, I, well, if you're trying to uh, question whether it was of a divine, oh, divine, another bad word, Trevain, um action, you know, that the, that the spirit, you know, repaired the shelf for you, well, it's, you know, the symbolism, you know, is, is talking about what we're talking about, that the, the shelf is broken and that we have to fix it, right? And so the shelf being fixed in the great mystery, you know, is just saying that uh, that that if, if I relate it to what we're doing, because we, we re just recently were connected, you know, it's about fixing the shelf and, and you've supported this work. Uh, you know yourself and so you're supporting the broken shelf fix a uh, repair program that's what we are the broken shelf repair program and so, okay all right so uh, if you know in other words if you can't explain it 
then just look at it, you know, for its symbolic value, and 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 then if and if there is no interpretation, then just let it go until one day it strikes you. Because very often, Heavenly Father gave me uh, 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 visions, and, and you know, and uh, big big time, and you know, like one was a riddle, and it and I didn't get the answer for ten years till ten years later, and then yes, I and I didn't happened. miss it when I when it happened, you know. Yeah. Right. But so. OK, so I get the analogy. That's great. The fix the shell fixer. Right. But what. If it's just spirit. I guess it's like healing the sick. It's the same thing, right? It's yeah. it, the breath is actually well, putting the peg. Well, in. remember, he is the atom. And so if he if he is the atom then the atoms go to work for him, right? In other words, it's not like you have to cease that, that there was literally somebody there physically, you know, holding up the shelf and repairing it. It's the, the miracle of that, the fact that all atoms respond, all atoms respond to okay. um, the Father's will. In other words, like the parting of the Red, you know, of the, the Sea of Aqaba, right? The parting of the sea, right? right? Everything responds at his will they they when he speaks they listen right there's nothing everything is under his control um and um other than he gave free will to man you know the criminals and sinners he gave them free will so they're not under his control although he does control them at times he gets them to do his his own bidding for him because they're slaves because they right. think they're free men when you know and they're they're literally uh, sold out slaves and uh, and destined for uh, total annihilation and destruction. And uh, I want to say hi to Thaddeus up there. I see uh, she jumped in on the chat. And uh, okay, so uh, we're good. Thank you. Do you think he fixed your shelf? <laughs> yes. Good. The at atoms did. <laughs> Nobody's going to buy it though when you try to tell them. You know. I know. I know. I think I'm cuckoo. Sure. Okay. Right. And, uh huh. All right. Do you want another question? Oh, sure. Um, what was my other question? Now that that that's a a whole brain full. Um. Okay. You uh, earlier in the teaching you talked about. Because I'm still struggling with the Sabbath, because I did that for 20 years. Um, and then you today you said it's our conscience. We should be led by our conscience. But how does that fit with the scripture that every man will do what is right in his own eyes? Well, conscience is telling us right from wrong. We all know right from wrong. So... Uh, in his own eyes, it means uh, that you're um, you've separated, you know, from the pure path. And so um, we're talking about somebody who's wanting to wake up. Therefore, they're going to follow the conscience of right and wrong. You know, the what we could call the natural law, or also called cinderesis, uh, as well. But wouldn't the fallen man? I should use other words, but for now. Um, his he would think it's his conscience and do what he wants. Well, then, well, but I, I think it was Paul who talked about the fact that our, we had our conscience seared with a hot iron. So, so that's simply um, moving away, you know, uh, from the balance that is given to us, or that the word cinderesis, which means that um, cinderesis never erreth. Because it always wants to do the right thing. Oh, hurried. You, huh? I I didn't hear you say hurried. Okay. So what? So what? Say what seared is again when your conscience is seared. Well, they, their their conscience was were seared by hot iron that they they have no scruples about them. You know that's a axiom, right? Your scruples, uh, idiom. That's an idiom. Uh, no scruples about them. Right. Thank you, Chi. And uh, glad you're enjoying it. And uh, so, so yeah, so, so, con, and again, that word con, you know, it's cone and it's spelled K H O N E. It's cone 
science. Okay, here it is. Here it is I, for the first time, live on the broadcast, right? The conscience is the cone science. How did I miss that all these years? And and so science means exact exact knowing, right? Science right. is exact knowing because you can't if you can't know something exactly, then it you know, um, like the words, right? It's a science, and therefore now I know that I know what I know and and can explain it. Whereas before it was like, wow, I see this, but I don't know what to make of it. You know that type. So as time goes on, you progress and you learn. So the cone science means the expansion, the expansion, and so. So, you know, you're you're. Um, gathering the cone aspect means the gathering in of more, right? It was called the cornucopia, right? The cornucopia starts at a little point in the wicker of the basket and it gets bigger and bigger and bigger like a horn. It's growing. And so. So the cone science means to continue to 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 gravitate to something uh, based on uh, um, a desire for something that is right. So if you want you know, to be involved in wickedness, well, a lot more wickedness will be happy to come your way. But if you're directed to follow the con cone science, the conscience of what we were designed to be, which was, uh, you know, of a higher creation, not a lower, not an animal, but of a higher, but but because somebody took control of the of the baby and and the, the narrative and the, and the and the story and the, and the, that, that science, then we're we're deluded. We're thinking we got something when we got nothing. Right, right. Jesus loves me. Yes, I know for the Bible tells me so, but I don't know anything else. Don't ask me. <laughs> That's all I need to know, you know. <laughs> OK, well, I appreciate it. Thank you for your time and everyone else who might be listening. Great. Well, thank you, uh, uh, Cynthia. And uh, I'm, I'm about to run out on uh, doing words. I'm going to try to do a couple words, I guess, real quick. I'm, I'm really feeling it. And uh, I uh, maybe somebody else has a question out there. I'd rather just talk right now than do my pre next presentation because it, it uh, you know, I just I'm not long winded anymore. That's all. It's a part of the the winding down cycle. You know, you wear, you're wearing out. But Ninja's got a word she wants me to do, so I'll do that. And then if anybody wants to call in, I'll see what I can do here. OK, I'll sign off. thank you. All right. Peace and love, Cynthia. Thank you. Bye. Mm -hmm.